This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live on location in New York City. I have with me Mr. Phil Hartstein from Finjan. Symbol is FNJN on the NASDAQ. Phil, welcome back to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. Appreciate the opportunity to be here in front of uh, your audience. It's good to have you back. Thanks. Let's go into it from a short overview and then we'll move on from there. Sure. Uh, Finjan, as you mentioned, is a NASDAQ company. Been public for about two years. Uh, the story starts almost 20 years ago. Uh, initially, we were a software company, uh, moved into a hardware security company. Now we know that industry is cybersecurity. Uh, today, we organize our business in four reporting lines. We have um, uh, the first line, which is licensing of our technology and intellectual property. Uh, the second is uh, developing security applications for mobile devices. Um, third is a services business, an advisory business. In fact, last time we were here together, uh, we had a soft launch. So now pleased to report um, that we're here in New York with our management team from CyberRisk uh, taking customer meetings. Uh, and the fourth business, um, the fourth line of our business is actually investments um, into other innovation funds that uh, themselves are developing uh, technology. Well, you're in the area of cybersecurity that, you know, if I had to throw up, a, you know, a, a lucky a lucky coin and have it land and it landed on cybersecurity, you might be in the best, you know, sector right now that's not suffering some of the same as other sectors from, you know, pressure on their stocks, uh, lack of being able to get funded. So how does it feel being a cybersecurity company in a market that you reign supreme? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, there's a, there's a weight on your shoulders. Um, so certainly what you're referencing is um, there is a momentum in the cybersecurity industry. Um, you know, there's goods and bads to that. Uh, we've been here for you know, almost 20 years. Um, the bad is that I think really we're at the beginnings of what the cyber threats and attacks are. And it's not something that can be solved solely by implementing new technology. There's behaviors and there's governance issues and all of these other attributes which need to be taken into account. And frankly, the way we think about it inside Finjan is that um, this is kind of the pregame show. You know, I don't think anybody's really contemplated the size and scale or even the entry point for an attack that we'll see not in the too far distant future. So what's new? Ah, what's new? So the life of a public company. Um, you know, the last year has been a um, really interesting ride for us. Uh, when we sort of moved into the public landscape, we were principally licensing our patents and technology. Um, we spun out our hardware business in 2009, and with that came an exclusion to not develop new technologies and new products that would compete uh, in that transaction. Well, that's up. As of March, that expired. Uh, we re-entered product development, again, with a focus on consumers. Uh, and that also uh, opened the door for us to launch CyberRisk, the advisory services business that we're in. So right now, what we're really focused on is, is driving value in the licensing side of our business, as well as driving growth into both the mobile development, uh, as well as the advisory services business. So we know about all of this corporate threat. I mean, they're closing airports. This, you know, I mean, it's just out of hand, out of control. Um, that means your company will grow, probably geometrically. Am I correct? Yeah, certainly. Any any time you model a, a business like ours or a technology business in this industry, you're not looking at linear growth, certainly. Um, really what you're looking for is, do you have a good solution that meets a market demand and a need? And are you there at the right time? So for example, part of the reason why we originally launched CyberRisk, our services business, outside the US is because it's an oversaturated market. There's a lot of me too, so there's a lot of incident response. That's not what we're focused on. We think the opportunity in the near term and, and more competitively in the long term is focused on sort of the governance level issues. You need to have the technical prowess to communicate around what's going on in a server room with a CISO. But to be able to communicate that to the board and to be able to take that information and, and weave it into maybe the underwriting process for cyber risk insurance policies, we think that's really where the next generation is and that's what our business is focused on. So a lot of decisions are being made in panic mode. I, I, I mean, I, I'm being sincere. You know, some of these companies that get hacked, I mean, let me tell you. Right. You know, and what are they doing? They're promising you, uh, you know, a little bit more security in the following year. I mean, what's going to happen next? I want your opinion, Phil. We're trying to move people away from reaction mode. Um, responding to a, an attack or even just how you contemplate thinking about whether or not you were attacked. Um, it's inadequate. 
And, and the reason I say that is because what we're talking about is financial data, consumer data, healthcare data. It's not okay to think about whether or not you were hacked for a month and then take another month before you disclose it. And then maybe a month behind that where you actually say that you're trying to do something to solve the problem. So I think you're starting to see some transitions with, for example, the SEC last week talking about potentially a heightened standard for re uh, reporting cyber threats and attacks. Um, but I think it's really moving away from this reaction and having more proactive, pre-planned responses um, and maybe actually just bringing more people inside a corporation into the discussion. It shouldn't just be relegated to a CISO or even down into the IT group. This really is a discussion that needs to be had, uh, members of management and even all the way up to the board, both public and private companies. Sounds to me like Finjon in the right place at the right time. We like to think so. When, uh, when the board gave us the mandate to be public, uh, they gave us, gave us great intellectual property, uh, they funded us well, and the mandate was to build a diversified cybersecurity company. And here we are today, about 18 months into that, and nothing but a bright future ahead. Website, Phil, please. It's uh, finjohn.com, and uh, if you're looking for us, that's probably the best way to find us, and appreciate the time. Ladies and gentlemen, Phil Hartstein, Finjohn, symbol F-N-J-N on a on the NASDAQ, it's a publicly traded company. I'm Shelley Kraft, this is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live on location in New York City. Phil, what a pleasure to have you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the time.